What we're looking at is a Baron Beer Kidding Canadian Lager, and what it was was $33.95 to buy it. And it comes with instructions here, as well as the sugar, the yeast, the hops, and the bentonite. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean out our fermenting container and we're going to get it ready. So I just want to get everything ready. Now you're going to need 23 liters of water at room temperature. So you're going to need to either fill your carboy and let it stay at room temperature or you're going to need to have something that holds that amount of water. So we're just going to get to the next step. In making this uh, homebrew is we're going to get two liters of hot water, put it in the bottom of the fermenting container, which I have 500 milliliters right here. And we're going to do three more until we have the two liters. Our second. So we're going to put our third in, which makes a liter and a half. One more to go. So we're just going to put the fourth one in, making it two liters. So now we have our two liters of hot water in there, and you can see it's steam. So we're just going to get our bentonite. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add our bentonite in, and you're going to need to stir vigorously for about 30 seconds, and you just want to make sure that you get all the clumps in, and you're not going to uh, pour it all in at once, a little bit at a time, until it's all dissolved. So I'm just going to continue to do this, and I'll bring you back once it's all dissolved. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in our wort, which is in the box, so we're just going to take the cork off here, and it'll just take me a second because... I have tiny little girl hands. <laughs> Quark's harder than. Oh, there we got it off. And then we're going to tip the box. And we're just going to pour that in. And then we're going to stir it vigorously. And I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So I'm just going to pour the rest of that in and I'll bring you back. Once our bag's empty, we're going to fill it with 4 liters of warm water to get any remaining wort that's in the bag. And then I'll bring you back and show you what we're going to do next. So now that we have the wort container filled with warm water, we're just going to pour it in there. And you're going to use about 4 liters. And then we're going to stir it up vigorously. I'm going to use my little ladle for that. So I'll just bring it back once I get it. So we're just spinning it around with our uh, tool that we use to spin it because I have charcoal and I can't do it with the spoon vigorously. So I have an attachment to do that with my drill. So I'm just going to uh, move to the next step. Right, we're going to top it up with the room water, or room temperature water to 23 liters. And I have a beautiful, beautiful assistant helping me with that because obviously I wouldn't be able to lift 23 uh, liters of water in the carboy there. And we're at 15, so we still need about 8 left. And we're at 16, 17, and just to let you know, I can tell with the uh, markings here on the side. So we're going to 23, we're at 19 now. We're almost at 20, we're 21, and we're going to 22, and we're just almost there to 23. Probably another 500 milliliters or so, and now we're at 23. So we're at 23, we're good to go, and I'm going to stir that up again. Is we're going to put our hydrometer in there and see exactly what kind of gravity we're looking at. And I think I'm going to need to add some more liquid in there. Just give me a sec. For this sale, what we're going to need to do, it's, it's actually um, Canadian Lager, so it needs to be 1.046 or between 1.052. And I just wanted to show you where that was at. There's the 5, so it's just about the 5.2. So we're going to add our yeast in now. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our hops in first. We're going to tear open the hops. We're going to sprinkle them into the container. And then we're going to um, add in our yeast after we add the hops in add our hops in and if you don't know what hops look like this is what they look like and once we add them in we're going to stir them underneath the liquid 
like see that powder on the top there? We just want to make sure that that's actually covered with liquid. So we're just going to stir it up a little bit and then we're going to get the yeast. So this is the yeast that comes in the package and what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, sprinkle it into the surface and we're going to not stir it because you don't want to stir it. Then we're going to cover it up and place it in an area between 18 to 24 degrees Celsius or 65 to 75 percent Fahrenheit and um, it should start to ferment in probably 24 to 48 hours. So we're just going to sprinkle that in now. So we're just sprinkling in the yeast and remember don't stir this. And then we're going to check on it probably about three to six days because that's how long it should take before the uh, fermenting actually uh, calms down. Now I can actually see it bubbling already. That's how instant the yeast was. I don't know if you can see that. Let's close it up and see. You see the little bubbles? And I can smell the difference now. It did smell like cat food and now it smells like yeast actually. So we're just going to cover it up now and I'll bring you back in probably, probably six days. While we're waiting for the uh, six to, uh, well, three to six days, what we're going to do is we're going to put the sugar away for we know where it's at. So don't add it in yet, just put it away. So it's now 24 hours. We're just going to open it up, take a little peek. And it definitely starting to smell like beer and you can see the bubbles. So I'm just going to bring you back probably in three or three to six days and show you what it looks like.